Catherine York, known to her friends as Tattens, lived most of her life in a small town in County Longford. A lover of gardening and cooking, with three sons and eight grandchildren, she was the centre of our family. On the 6th of April, at the age of 83, she died. The woman I knew as my grandmother was fun, outgoing and adventurous. She wasn't afraid to travel and made many different friends in different places. About 10 years ago, she suffered the first of many small strokes, known as transenschemic attacks. This was to be a huge turning point in her life. She began to withdraw from her past social life, and although she maintained her independence, she lost contact with her friends. Why does this happen to some elderly people when others are able to stay connected? In the last year of her life, her health deteriorated and she went to live with my uncle's family on their nearby farm. I asked my cousin Gregory what he thought about her living with them. She got stronger when she was staying here and um, we kind of took into consideration that she was still, that after all those accidents she was still a bit frail and um, like we were complaining about her if she was just been if she's if she was annoying us around and then the day she did fall we thought she she'd be grand and then it turned out that it was a it was like a major hemorrhage Gregory's brother Robert is old enough to remember the younger woman I knew as my grandmother I asked him how he thought she lived her final years as she got older she didn't like to venture out as much because she was on her own she was quite scared in that but she had friends and she had people she knew but she lost them throughout the years and lost contact and some of them died in that. She was getting old and didn't know how else to communicate with other people to say you know I need your help with that. At the same time there was nobody there or any kind of you know group or outreach kind of people that would kind of come to visit you know Meals on Wheels or anything like that or people to come around and visit except for her immediate family. My maternal grandmother has been living on her own since my grandfather Pat died in 1996. She has a busy and active lifestyle. She has managed to maintain friendships and even make new ones in the past few years. I wanted to know how she was able to do all these things while it was difficult for others. Well, I, I don't know. What I, 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 some people, I suppose, are not very gregarious. and I, Not that I am, but at, at least I find that Certainly since I'm on my own and since Pat died, that uh, playing bridge has been a wonderful outlet. I've made so many friends. That's the, the only difference with me that I can see. You have to go out and meet people. You just, people are not going to come along knocking at your door and saying, come on, unless you make an effort yourself. I go to classes for fitness once a week. I find the fitness classes excellent, that they're great for keeping these pains and aches at bay. I'm happy to be in good health, to tell you the truth, and I think it's great. I have a great life, if you like, for a person my age. I have a lovely apartment, and a nice, nice way of life. Maintaining friendships, lifestyle and relationships can be very difficult. But we must make the effort in a bit to make the most of the time we have. I have really fond memories of my grandmother and I hope someday to make memories like that myself.